Sammy Hagar, the Red Rocker, has a new band, and they've released a new album. The album is entitled Space Between, and the band is called The Circle. The band's all-star lineup includes Vic Johnson on guitar, formerly of the Bus Boys, Michael Anthony on bass, formerly of Van Halen and Chickenfoot, and Jason Bonham. Well, if you need me to tell you who Jason Bonham is, you're probably watching the wrong show. Sammy Hagar has described the album Space Between as a concept album, with each song as a chapter delving into the concepts of money, greed, enlightenment, and truth. Track one opens the album with The Devil Came to Philly, a good blues-based rocker that starts well enough, but feels too short and incomplete. This song seems to be establishing the concept of the album dealing with the pitfalls of greed and materialism. But then it fades out just when you think it's about to shift into high gear, and I kind of wish that it had shifted into high gear. I was waiting for it, but then it just didn't happen. Track two, entitled Full Circle Jam, parentheses Chump Change, ramps up the heavy blues a bit more. Lyrically, the song delves into people grasping for what little they can get and saying screw you in the process. I love the heavy blues riff that makes up the main body of the song. Musically, it's nothing we haven't heard before, and at times it seems to meander a bit structurally, but it is well performed, and the energy is undeniable. It also gets more texturally interesting on repeated listens. The opening acoustic guitar riff of track three, entitled Can't Hang, mixes the blues and western music with Sammy's trademark anthemic choruses. The main acoustic guitar riff at times feels a bit like Wanted Dead or Alive, but it's the chorus and Michael Anthony's amazing backup vocals that really lifts the song up. Track four, Wide Open Space, is the weakest track for me personally. I have nothing against the sentiment that the song is trying to convey, but both musically and lyrically, the song feels too much like too many of the cliched modern commercial country songs that dominate the radio these days. One of the album's heaviest, dirtiest tracks arrives via Free Man, which is track five, a collaboration between Hagar and drummer Jason Bonham. Riff-wise, this track feels like it could have come from Alice in Chains, and this song definitely rocks and definitely keeps me rolling on each listen. Track six, Bottom Line, written by Hagar, is a pleasant surprise. Bottom Line is an entertaining, very likable 60s pop slash rock throwback. The band keeps it lean and mean, but under a different production hand, this track could have fit in perfectly with any number of 60s hit makers. I love the rhythmic interplay between the band that drives this song. Track 7, entitled No Worries, is a strong, Bo Diddley-influenced rocker. It's hard to go wrong with a Bo Diddley beat, and this song proves that point. Track 8, Trust Fun Baby, is without question the most energetic song on the album, co-written by Hager, Bonham, and Ronnie Montrose. This track is everything great about 70s commercial hard rock. I am ready to burn rubber in my GTO down Azusa Canyon Road. This song kicks ass, and then it kicks it again. Next is track eight, entitled Affirmation. What makes this song work lies, I think, a lot in the arrangement. The track opens with a cool, aggressive, heavy guitar riff, but is smart enough to have said riff take a back seat during the first verse and lets the church organ and Hagar and Anthony's combined vocals enough room to breathe before coming back in. Another band would have just kept the guitar going and it would have dragged the song down. When the guitar comes back in for the second verse, it helps to build the thematic nature of the song's lyrics, dealing with enlightenment. It's interesting to me that the last two outstanding heavy rock albums that I have heard, Anthem of the Peaceful Army by Greta Van Fleet and Feral Roots by Rival Sons, have both ended with songs dealing with positive messages about peace and love in the face of extreme hatred and divisiveness. And so has Hagar, with his final track entitled Hey Hey, parentheses, Without Greed. This is another favorite of mine off this album. The song picks up on the Hey Hey chant used in The Devil Came to Philly, but now the lyrics are about using money to buy happiness by helping feed the poor and heal the sick. I have to give credit to Sammy Hagar, who in his 70s still has 
amazing vocal chops and always finds the need to do more than just ride the nostalgic gravy train. Earlier, I mentioned the recent releases by Rival Sons and Greta Van Fleet. And in those reviews, I said that both albums felt like the band was pushing their limits as hard as they could to make a great album. If I were to compare Space Between with the other two rock albums that I just talked about, I would say that Hager is not so much pushing himself as he is keeping pace with them. Rival Sons are young men, and Greta Van Fleet are kids becoming men. Hagar is in his 70s, and he manages to keep pace without breaking a sweat, or at least that's how it appears. This is TJR. Have you heard this album? Please let me know what you think. And if you want to see more of these types of album reviews, please click like and click notifications so you can know when I release new videos. I want to give a big thank you to my patron supporters who go the extra mile in helping me create videos. If you'd like to become a patron supporter, there's a link in the description, and there should be a link floating on screen at any time now, if it isn't already. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.